This is just to let you know that all is well in the hood. The performance is great on this game. I haven't noticed a single stutter in about two or three hours of gameplay. This is on performance mode. This is in one of the open worlds. And I wanted to quickly showcase that as we're running around. You can take a look. It's got a very respectable pop-in distance for the rendering. Which I think is actually really, really good. And if we are to put it on the... I guess I could have just gone up to go down. If we do put the um, graphics on performance on graphics now it's 4k but what i am not noticing is any other change i mean obviously it's well it's not obvious but it's 30 fps you could tell now it's a lot more choppy however the draw distance appears to be the same there does not appear either to be any other graphical enhancements as far as i can tell or that i've researched the 30 FPS does feel jarring. There are some games, and I know this is kind of controversial, that actually don't feel all that jarring. When I play Forza Horizon 5 on my PC, I actually always have it on 60 FPS. Maxed out graphics, but when I'm on my Series X, I actually put it on quality mode, which is 30 FPS. And for a very fast game like Forza, you would think that it would be very jarring, and somehow I find it a little bit smoother. This one's not rough, though. But it's definitely not something I would want to play. And again, in closing, I'm going to say this and people are going to be like, Ah, oh, did you just say that? Did you really? I can't believe you said it. 4K, like just straight 4K resolution with nothing else is just not worth the sacrifice in performance fidelity. It's just not. Like 30 FPS, but it's 4K. So what? It's not like I'm looking at this going, ah, oh, it's so blurry, my eyes. Right? Like the performance is just so great. I'd rather 1080p, 60 FPS, HDR, ultra widescreen, extra draw distance, ambient occlusion, the reflections, tessellation, all that fancy stuff, half of which I don't even really know what it means unless I Google it to try to sound smart. Those are the things that I'm more interested in, right? Pushing a game to 4K and then with all the ultra settings, the extra draw distance and all that, you're just, it's overkill for what you're getting. But again, I'm not saying that 4K is not worth it, period. Like, it's great but not at the cost that you're going to get. The uh, performance value per performance or whatever it's called, for me, it's just not there. So, anyways, just a little bit of gameplay for a second. Kind of went off on a little bit of a rant there. However, this game is just absolutely incredible in how it runs and everything. And this is on a day one game too, because... There have been some AAA developers releasing some games, and they're not so AAA when you play them. They feel like double Ds. No, wait, that's something completely different. Anyhow, no, you can't slay the bunny. That's it for this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. It does uh, greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. And if you didn't like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half. Twist it. Break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe, naturally, that would be fantastic. But if not, oh, trust me, I get it. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe, if I'm lucky, I'll see some of you in the next one. Now, this is for my VIPs. Take a look at that rendering, the draw distance again. That you see, like, bushes starting to pop. For, for me, it's respectable, like I said. I don't find it to be particularly jarring again. That's the, the word of the day. All right. Bye for now.